Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how uh, you can use the frame generator to uh, generate a structural frame uh, or structure like a, a warehouse. So you can go to Addings and Frame Generator. So you uh, need to change the setting. First is the base. And you can look at the structural dimensions. The first is n. n is the number of the frame. So, for example, this is a five frame. So you can count the frame into this uh, uh, view. I will use um, let's say seven frame. So there is uh, six. Uh, there are six spacings. Uh, and this is the uh, the length of of uh, the warehouse. So I'm not going to change this. I will put this uh, dimension, and then this will uh, change automatically. So let's say uh, the spacing from one frame to one frame is six meter. So this will turn to thirty six metal automatically and next I will go to the project and we choose new and uh, as you can see uh, all the element type and this is the material and we use the default material here and in this case is S235 uh, and you can also change this material but for now you don't have to worry about this so next is geometry. You can use the type, uh, choose the type of the roof. So in this case, I will choose cable roof. And I will choose the base symmetry here to keep the left and the right uh, uh, side of the warehouse to be the same. So next, uh, we change this. HR is the uh, height of uh, the roof. So it, it uh, start from the top of the, the column to the top of the roof here. You can also change the angle. Let's say I want this to be 20 uh, degree. So it's something like this. Now we change this to 15 or if you want uh, this number to be uh, a little bit more easy to uh, to look or, or to use you can uh, change this also next is the uh, HCL so this is the height of the column so let's say six meter and this is the height of the bottom of the column we keep this uh, like that next is bb is the uh, the length from the uh, this column to this column so this is the clear span i'm going to change this to 20 meters and next you can change the supports but I will keep this support uh, pinned and you can now change the section of the columns and beam for now I will keep the default here you can also change the section later and this is the material I will also keep the default like that next is uh, the roof type you can choose this type or trust type so uh, this depend on your choice but uh, in this case I will choose the the eye section type like like this and you can also add the deck here in the deck slabs uh, tab here I will not change this this uh, is the if and attic as you can see in this uh, picture but I, I will not change this I also not 
uh, not going to change the bracket here I will uh, uh, not use it next is parlance so parlance is very important so uh, you can change in here also so you can change the number of the Perlin or you can input the spacing of the Perlin so usually I, I put this because it's easy uh, uh, to you know to set the spacing of the uh, Perlin so I will keep 1.2 meter like that and next is the dimensions so you, as you can see here, this is uh, the uh, spacing from the uh, center of the column to the center of the purlin. You can change this to zero, zero, like this, as you can see uh, here. And next you can uh, look at the roof reach beam here so if this start from the zero i don't have to choose this i don't have to use this so i i am uh, deselect that and if you wonder what it is you can uh, select it and you can check the uh, the picture here the view here so this is the beam at the center of the roof and for strap, you, I will not use this also. You can uh, check to see what it is also. This is the strap. Okay. So next is the Perlin's uh, section. You can choose the section here or you can change later. But uh, in this case, I'm going to choose more and uh, I will use the section that I already imported so in this case is the Z section I will choose 200 uh, side here and I will change the material to this one next I will choose this section and the material is this one next is the uh, brazings so I want to add one more pressing here. So I will add the pressing, the egg pressing. Okay, now the pressing is complete. You can also change the section here. But uh, in this case, I'm not going to change the section, but I will change the material let's say uh, this one I want to change I change the section because uh, when the model is generated you can easily select it this type of uh, this, this type of section or this type of uh, 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 member next is the outer walls this is basically the end wall so I will use this type you can choose uh, other type also and uh, for 20 meter uh, divided by 4 it will be uh, um, uh, spacing for for this uh, frame or from column to column is 5 meter so it's okay now I will use for, uh, for spacing like this and this is a uh, section for the column and supports I will keep pin like that next uh, I will add the loads so you can input dead load, light load and also the crane load if there is a crane load but in this case I will not add the crane load so we change this. Uh, sorry, we change this number. Let's say one uh, uh, zero point one kilonewton per square meter. 
uh, meter and this is 0 0.3 and next you can go to this but uh, uh, you don't have to worry about this because I uh, you can also run here but I don't recommend you to uh, use this because uh, uh, you need to know the structure look like first and you also need to uh, adjust something more so first you go into generate the frame first so you click OK and then yes and next you have to save uh, this file so now the frame is uh, generated so as you can see uh, the section of the pillin here is Z section and for the main frame and frame we uh, haven't changed the section yet so now you can uh, change in here and this is also uh, uh, the big dressing you can also change this and I want to show you that you can select by material and only the egg dressing uh, are selected so you can only change this section next uh, before we run this we need to add some more load like a wind load right so there is only survey uh, the, there are survey dead load and, li and life load but it's not enough yet so you need to add the uh, wind load uh, you can use the wind load simulation here or you can add uh, manually and next you can uh, create the section here and change uh, the section in the model and then you can run the analysis and go to design so this is the way you can uh, model the uh, warehouse frame uh, you can say uh, faster and easier so it can save a lot of your time so you can use uh, this too so one last thing is I want to show you the load so I will uh, turn on the load symbols here and then the load value so this is a save weight and now that load is uh, minus 0 0.1 because uh, the load direction uh, is different from the Z direction here and next is the line load so everything is uh, fine all you have to do is change a little bit more and the modeling is complete so this is the easy way to uh, model a, a frame like this so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you